Well, thank you, Bernard. Thank you for being clear about the need for cooperation, for working together, and for working with our core values. There are other people who uh, will bring a different perspective. It's really important to hear from the Greens. Um, I'm looking towards uh, youth, and, uh, and youth brings wisdom and brings an awareness of the importance of the, uh, of the future and the need for all of us to be thinking not what's necessary for the next electoral cycle, but what's necessary for the next seven generations. So please come forward from the green parents and from uh, uh, Sheffield plants trees. Kids plant trees. Kids, pl kids plant trees. Sheffield is kids. Yeah. everybody that we've joined with loads of other great organisations across the city including Sheffield and Rotherham Wildlife Trust to declare a nature emergency this Friday for Sheffield. So we've all petitioned the council, we've all asked them to declare, we've asked them for months and months and months and nothing has happened, nothing has changed even though you're all in agreement that a nature emergency is needed. So we're going to do it ourselves and we want everybody in Sheffield to join us, so businesses, schools, individuals. So this Friday we want you to say, I declare a nature emergency for Sheffield, or if you're a family, we declare a nature emergency for Sheffield. Um, I think the only other thing I want to say, when the councillors go into that room for the first time as a, as a bit of a upside down council, there is one thing you all agree on, and that is that we need a nature emergency for Sheffield and, and for the world. We need a nature emergency, we need to declare. So when you go in that room, you don't need to debate it. You already know we need a nature emergency. You're all in agreement on that one thing. So declare a nature emergency on Friday with us for our children and for their future. Thank you. <laughs> <We're the star. laughs> it's really important to uh, bring a, a variety of different uh, approaches when you're communicating, particularly when you're communicating with councillors, and particularly councillors can communicate in different ways. And I believe somebody's offered to sing uh, to celebrate uh, uh, a change, maybe an arrival of new new spring and new dawn, uh, but I'm not sure quite what the song is. Hello everyone, this is a song I've written myself. Um, it's strange, my, um, my granddaughter contacted me the other day because her school wanted to find, uh, wanted her to find um, a poem uh, to do with climate change. Um, and having written many poems in the past, I was scraping, scratching my head about, I don't think I've actually written any poems about climate change, which is very weird because climate change is very high on my agenda. But I have written this song. So I gave her this song and this is it. I'm only gonna sing the first two verses, by the way, because it goes on this. Okay? If you wanna join in, by the way, do so. It's not, it's not difficult. We're all on the front line, we're all on the front line, we're all on the front line of the climate emergency. We're all on the front line, we're all on the front line, we're all on the front line of the climate emergency. We're burning up, we're getting hotter and hotter, we're burning up, we're getting hot as hell. We're burning up. <clears throat> okay, what well, started too high, didn't I? Can I come down? We're burning up, it's getting hotter and hotter. We're burning up, it's getting hot as hell. We're all on the front line, we're all on the front line. We're all on the front line of the climate emergency. We're all on the front line, we're all on the front line. We're all on the front line of the climate emergency. 
burning up. It's getting hotter and hotter. We're burning up. It's getting hot as hell. We're burning up. It's getting hotter and hotter. We're burning up. It's getting hotter than hell. I'll stop